Hi all folks, this is Max from GalaxyS3Root.com. So today let's go overclock our phone. Um, there's a bunch of kernels, there's actually two kernels out, out there. Uh, but let's go ahead and flash the Pegasus kernel, um, which is pretty good, um, it seems like. And well, let's try it and see what we can do. To install this, um, you will need to uh, actually use Odin. So go ahead and press uh, volume down in the center button and the power button. Hold it until your phone resets into uh, download mode. Alright, and then uh, once you get here, hit volume up and then connect it to your computer. Alright, and let's go flash it on our computer. Um, go ahead and download the Odin program, unzip it, you'll get a, a bunch of, uh, you'll get a folder called Odin with the Odin program and also uh, Perseus Alpha 11. Um, for Heimdall, I I think you can use it, uh, but uh, I'll, I'll try with time goal later. But for this is for Windows. Simply run Odin, and then go ahead and um, choose PDA, and uh, choose the Pegasus. Um, Pegasus blah blah dot tar. If you don't have um, uh, extensions enabled, it'll just say Perseus Alpha 11. Perseus. Um, so let's choose that and flash it. Uh, it's flashing it. Um, there we go. And it's restarted. And uh, when it restarts, I'll be back when it restarts. And let's go install set CPU um, and uh, test this kernel out. And overclock. To overclock your Galaxy S3, you'll need to download uh, set CPU. You can get it off the market um, or you can get it free at XDA. Download the APK file and uh, get a file explorer app um, such as ES File Explorer. Uh, or you can use my files also um, and I put it in my download folder go ahead and install it um, you might have to go to settings and uh, make sure unknown sources checked on and try again and uh, let me try to install it again yippee and open auto detect speeds hit ok and of course you'll have to have a rooted phone oh you know what I forgot to root this phone hold on I'll be right back go root it there, it took me like a minute to uh, root and come back. I totally forgot I had a stock phone here. Um, so let me go back to set CPU and uh, it will ask me for root access this time. Hello, Brent. All right, now you can turn it up to 1.8 gigahertz. Um, I'm gonna actually, oh, you know what, whoops. I'm going to try to set it on performance and see if it, if it can handle it. Um, and go ahead and let's run some tests for fun. It's going to, um, let me close anything else. Yeah, there we go. So there you have it. We've got 1.8 gigahertz performance. And this is the fastest phone in the world right now. For sure, this is the fastest phone in the world. Um, okay, it's it's probably too high. I'll try setting it a little bit less because um you know what this is still highly experimental. 1.704 and let's try quadrant again. And not every phone might handle um one point or the highest, you know, every CPU is a little bit different. Um there's a variable. So we'll see here. What run? Not even starting up. Let's remove all. Okay. <sighs> remove all. And try again. Come on. All right. Let me try um, setting it down to something lower, something that can handle it, and we'll try this again. Everything's dead. just doesn't want to run. Um, there we go. I think something went wrong. So I'm going to reboot. I'll be back. Um, it should run fine at 1.704. That's not that high. I'll be back. So I'm back. Um, just probably the set CPU. Uh, let's run it again. And let's set it a little bit lower. We'll start slow. Oh, what's wrong? 
I have to wait. So I've got it at 1.704 on Pegasus. Uh, I'm going to put it on performance. And you might have to actually do it again because sometimes that CPU gets a little iffy. Let's set it at 1.6 um, just so it runs in uh, one quadrant. And it's running fine. All right, 1.6. Stock is 1.4 quad core. Now I've got 1.6. This running at full performance. Let's see what we can do here. Um, see if we can get a really high score. I'm just I'm just doing this for fun. But <laughs> I mean, you can run the kernel. Um, just don't run it at performance all the time. I would set it um, just a little bit lower than the, the highest you can get. But I just want to see how how fast you can go. Whoa, 70 frames per second. That's pretty cool. Just notice that. And that uh, this kernel does run on other ROMs, um, so you can try it on other ROMs. Just do make a backup of your ROM before, you know, doing this because, you know, it's really easy to go back, um, you know, restore your phone. If you have a backup, that's the whole point. If you don't make a backup, it's your fault. Um, there we go. So. I got 54, 69. Nah, not too bad. Doesn't seem like it's that much faster. But we'll try N22 also here. And uh, scores. Test. Start test. And uh, I, th I think um, I forgot to. Oh, yeah, never mind. I'll actually fast forward this. Um, well, maybe I'll just leave it just so you can see. And we'll see what we get here. But as far as installing custom ROMs, I would actually hold off a couple of days because most of the ROMs right out right now, it's for beta testers. And uh, if you want to be a guinea pig and just, you know, um, go ahead. I mean, but, um, you know, most likely in a week or two, there's going to be better ROMs, um, and all the ROMs will have a lot of the bugs fixed. Um, that's why I usually wait a week or two before trying to install custom ROMs. Um, so that's my advice. But you can try this kernel for fun. <laughs> or ROMs, but, you know, I like to wait a little bit. Wait, wait for the dust to settle. Um, to, you know, So I'm, I'm just probably going to fast forward all this. Yeah. You know, I'll just leave it on because some of you want to actually see the frames per second. Um, oh yeah, Galaxy S3. And also don't forget we're giving out Galaxy S3 over at HighOnAndroid.com. Um, you can win one of these uh, rooted with custom ROMs installed. And uh, it's going to be great. And there you go, that's frames per second. And uh, it's pretty safe to overclock phones. I've never had a burn CPU. It's not like um, like computer CPU. Computer CPUs are way more um, volatile. It, they can just burst into flames. Versus smartphones, they were designed to run you know, on a small device. Um, they are actually designed to be overclocked. Um, so it shouldn't, you know, at the worst, your phone will reset, you know, nothing bad will happen. Um, so I get a ton of questions like that. Ooh, that looks beautiful right there. The Galaxy S3. Um, the speed is definitely addicting on the phones. You, you want to have, like, you know, the fastest phone in the world. Um, so with this kernel, it does make it kind of fast, a little bit faster than the fastest Galaxy S3 out there, so we'll see what numbers we get. But should be uh, a little bit faster. I mean, for the average user, you you don't need to overclock. Um, but you know, for those of us who must, ooh, that's pretty bad. It's actually worse than stock. Anyway, that was just uh, um, showing you the um, you know overclocking. It's not perfect yet. They're still working on it. Um, but you can overclock it using those kernels. Again, the, they're kind of beta and a lot of things might break. So 
I just made this video as a you know educational thing. But don't set it on performance. Uh, set it on Pegasus Q. That's probably the best governor. Set it on boots. Um, you can run it like this, but. Um, that was just the short update on the uh, kernel there. And if you have a Galaxy S3, don't forget to sign up for my um, email list at galaxyS3root.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week um, and also stuff like this. And also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me if you have trouble with your phone. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button. It helps me greatly. Um, subscribe button up here and uh, use that share button to share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. But that was um, just a kernel, overclockable kernel I just installed on my stock ROM. And uh, it's it's not bad, but uh, I don't know. I might just go back to stock. So Anyway, see you guys later. Stay high on Android and go sign up for that contest. Yo.